My Annie Chris could cough like the smoker she was, the smoker she had been in between drinks and jokes and songs at the bar. Hard-hitting, hard-loving Chris, angel of the earth, chained by memory, maimed by neglect, into the winged thing that was my mother's sister, my aunt. Tough as nails and as sweet as pie when the rye was running. I remember her beauty and her birth, full bosom rounded hip that never birthed a child. What was it? TB at 17. Funny where life takes us, what it makes us become in between dreams. On the mean streets of Philadelphia for a while. Heavy Glaswegian accent, Irish smile, custodian, nanny cook, and running through the men like a California starlet glamorous and greasy in a room for rent. Sure. Yet never judging you by middle class yardsticks, the wanting was the thrill, the wanton feeling, the chill that ran up my spine and brings to mind the cards that you sent us. Birthday summer heavy and full of American silver dollars and later $20 bills. Annie Chris, you teased the piss out of me, always loving my brothers more than me. It seemed like a dream the day I found you or the trailer where you lived. Was it Sarasota or St. Petersburg? My mother would remember. I told her I knew it was where you lived because of Michael's picture, sitting in a chair at three years old with a stogie in his mouth, stuck to the fridge, while the room spoke of desperation and generational love. You lived with us for a while, when Michael was a baby. And I was only young, but I remember your teeth in a coffee mug, and the way you chased us through the house, my brothers and me, afraid to be kissed, afraid to be caught, and the love that you sought from our childish embrace. You made us wild, with the wildness with, that was you, the fuck-it-all attitudes that resonates in my soul. You became the mother of my passionate side, the live it wide, winner take all, screw the fall life path that I chose. And I don't regret it. Now when I hear a coffer's smoke, loose with phlegm and rumbling like a dirty old man in the guttural sense, I become warm with remembrance of love that looked like wrinkled skin and smelt like tobacco. Love that pinched till I cried and laughed when I did. A hard-hitting, hard-living love, a familial pain in the ass that asked me just before she passed in a bar in Florida during happy hour where beer and wine and coolers and mixed drinks were two for four dollars. Who are you again? Are you my daughter? And me, smiling tightly and shaking the confusion from my head. And to this day, yes I am, is what I wish I had said. Mm -hmm.